movement throughout World War II. The Weizmann archives foolishly or wisely gave me complete access to all the Weizmann correspondence with Churchill. And in the Weizmann archives, all Churchill's correspondence with Weizmann throughout the war years and before the war, and all his notes on his meetings with Churchill. And I'm only going to mention one of those letters here. It's a letter written by Chaim Weizmann, the leader of the Zionist movement, at that time living in the United States, to Winston Churchill in September 1941, three months before Pearl Harbor, when Churchill is frantically trying to claw the United States into his war, because that's his only salvation. And Weizmann writes to Churchill a letter which he says, Mr. Prime Minister, unless you grant us what we want, which is the creation of a Jewish army in the Middle East, with our own arsenal and our own weapons and our own uniform and our own flag, unless you grant us what, what we want, then you are not going to win us over. And let me tell you what we will do if you do grant us what we want. If you grant us our wishes, then we will act on your behalf in the United States. And remember, Mr. Churchill, he writes in this letter, remember, we are the only powerful unified bloc in the United States which solidly backs the British cause in this war. September 1941. Everybody else is basically isolationist. We are the only ethnic unified group which solidly backs the British cause. We are the only people who are in the position to bring the United States into this war. We did it in the last war and we can do it again.